We are fortunate to live in East Jordan, Michigan, home of the Jordan River. It is a 33 mile long spring fed trout stream. It is a beautiful natural resource that our community depends on for its recreational and aesthetic value. A good sign of health in the Jordan River is that you can find specific stream macroinvertebrates that inhabit it. So I wanted to bring you here. We're going to talk about water quality of the Jordan River in particular and work that we do here on the Jordan. We're going to put on some waders, get in the stream, and pull out the bugs, put them into different groups, figure out what's there. We studied the river and found that certain macroinvertebrates can only be seen in high water quality. To ensure that the river system stays healthy, we must reduce pollution. Hydrofracking is a potential source of pollution. Hydrock fracking is a process of drilling into shale and extracting the oil from the rock using sand, water pressure, and many chemicals. Fracking has the potential to contaminate our groundwater and harm our plant and animal life. Geothermal has become more popular due to high heating bills and as a green alternative heating source. Geothermal begins with water and pipes below the ground. The water is then heated by the ground and sent into the house's geothermal heating unit. From there, the heat is extracted from the water. Then the water is returned as cooler water through the pipe and the cycle repeats. Through the use of geothermal heating, you can save money in the environment all while keeping your family's house warm in the winter and cool in the summer. If we contaminate the land in the Jordan River watershed, we will spoil the river and prevent others from enjoying this priceless natural treasure. Our Jordan River requires responsible stewardship for generations to come. Using and encouraging green energies like geothermal is just one way we can preserve our beautiful environment and our community's way of life.